Welcome to Investors Insight, where today's topic is strong earnings versus strong talk. A lot going on this week, Ashley. Yes, yes. Uh, over a third of the S&P 500 companies report earnings. So a lot going on, especially the large tech and large oil companies. So uh, it's going to be a big week for earnings, probably the biggest week of the quarter. Uh, last week we had really good earnings, uh, but the trade war talk continued, and it kind of overpowered the good earnings. So the question is, this week, uh, President Trump is meeting with the European Commissioner Juncker on uh, trade war talks, try to work out a deal on Wednesday afternoon. That's going to be very important. Uh, and then Friday, we have a big report. GDP comes out. And so the first quarter was really slow, about 2%. We do expect GDP to pick up this quarter, uh, anywhere 35 to 4%. Uh, we've seen a lot of much better consumer spending, uh, much better business investments, more capex. So excited right. to see that come out on Friday. Yeah, so. ours ours is doing well. You yeah, know, it's just, it really it's is. Like you were saying, the trade talk is just really kind of dampening a little bit. It but continues. It does. So at some point, who wins out here? Right. Strong earnings or strong talk? Right. So uh, Ashley, update us on drug prices, and then sure. also last week. President Trump went after the Fed president, so a lot going on. That's right. A couple of unusual things that are, could be impactful we wanted to share with you that you may not have seen. One is, is that President Trump has been pushing through the FDA. If we start to get a major increase in drug prices, the ability to counter that and import prescription drugs from, say, Canada, UK, France, other companies that have high-level protocol to make those, Japan's another, mm -hmm. And what we found with that is, even though that has not been approved yet, even just the discussion of it has created a chilling effect in terms of keeping drug prices down. You had three major manufacturers last week that said once they started getting wind of that, they basically said, you know, we're not going to raise ours for the remainder of the year. The reason that's market impactful is like anything else where more money can flow to the consumer, it just makes the market better because they've got more to spend and that's the dynamic of it. So that's the first one off we saw that could have some market impact you may not have heard. The second one is, is that Donald Trump has started to openly call the Federal Reserve out uh, in terms of raising interest rates. He was quoted as saying that not overly pleased with the way that they're handling that. What's impactful about that is that in the modern economy, that's the first time we've ever seen really a president kind of do that. Right. If yeah. you go all the way back to the 1950s and Dwight Eisenhower, even through Clinton and the Bushes, there has been a very strong unwritten rule the Federal Reserve is not criticized on decisions to keep them separate, keep them politically right. separate. Yeah. Uh, you don't even comment on it anonymously, just something you don't do. Mm -hmm. For the very first time, President Trump has jumped in and started to do that. Now, Jerome Powell is a highly qualified Washington insider, he's used to this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So he's sort of steeled against it. But that's a dynamic we haven't seen in a long time. We have to keep an eye on and what that's going to mean. It's different. Yeah. So again, we're looking for strong earnings and a strong economy to kind of overtake strong talk. Yes. So again, the talk has won so far this year. It has. This week, if we get solid earnings from the big tech to big oil, right. The market needs to do something here. It does. And so we're I looking do. for it to overpower Absolutely. The talk. It needs to come through because this is the week to do it. It is. It is. So a lot going on. Call us or email us with any questions. Uh, we love to hear from you. Have a great week. Thanks.